A gruesome case has unfolded in Slocum, Alabama, leading to the arrest of a 26-year-old woman for the brutal killing of her boyfriend. The discovery of a dismembered body on Tuesday, August 27, set in motion an investigation into a gut-wrenching domestic violence and child welfare case. The victim, identified as 41-year-old Benito Morales Guzman, was found dead at his residence after failing to show up for work. Concerned by his unexplained absence, Guzman's co-worker contacted the Geneva County Sheriff's Office, prompting authorities to visit the home. Upon arrival, law enforcement officers were immediately struck by an overpowering odor of decomposition emanating from a car parked on the property. The smell, described as strong by investigators, led them to a grisly discovery. Inside the vehicle, several garbage bags contained the dismembered and decapitated remains of Guzman. The Geneva County coroner later confirmed the victim's identity, noting that the body was completely dismembered and mutilated into multiple pieces. Alongside the remains, authorities uncovered an electric chainsaw still bearing traces of human flesh. Knives and cleaning supplies were also present, suggesting a methodical attempt to conceal the gruesome act. As the investigation progressed, attention quickly turned to Jocelina Elizabeth Lopez, Guzman's girlfriend and the mother of their four-year-old child. On Thursday, August 29, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency announced Lopez's arrest on murder charges in connection with Guzman's death. Prosecutors and investigators revealed their suspicions that the couple's young child, who has autism and unspecified disabilities, may have been present during the alleged killing. Lopez made a court appearance where she claimed to have acted in self-defense. However, the judge, weighing the severity of the charges and the evidence presented, denied her bond. As of the latest reports, it remains unclear whether Lopez has entered a formal plea or retained legal representation.